Welcome back. It's 842, a recipe that's good for breakfast, lunch, dinner, brunch. I'm going to make a whole it. bunch of this and just have it for all three meals one day. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Holly Warner is my private chef. Not really. My, but she's, she's your private chef is what she really is. Chef to all. That's right. So this is basically, we're describing this as kind of a hash. Kind of, yeah, like a sort of a fancy hash mm -hmm. is what we're trying to do here. This is really my go-to meal. Mm -hmm. I make these every week. I keep them in the refrigerator. Sometimes I mix up the vegetables or the protein, mm -hmm. but this is something you can have in your refrigerator. It freezes really nicely. Okay. Oh. So this is a way you can make it in advance, make it in bulk. I like that. So I did a quick turn around the pan with extra virgin olive oil, mm -hmm. and then we have this list of ingredients. And I've started to cook a little bit of this for us. What we want to do is we're going to start with putting in the turkey. Sure. One How hot is that? Ground pan. turkey. So this pan's going to should have a Just slight medium. sizzle. Yeah, we have like okay. medium, kind of a medium high to okay. start. Then we're going to add the chorizo. Chorizo. So this is turkey chorizo. Nice. And okay. the reason we're doing this together, there, that's the sound we're looking for. The reason we're doing these together is what we want to do is have the chorizo season our regular turkey. Right. So it just makes it a little more lean. Okay. You can certainly do it with all chorizo or all turkey for that matter. But if you do just turkey, you want to make sure that you add some additional seasoning. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, if you just wanted to go crazy, you could use the pork chorizo. And oh, heck yeah. Ground beef, whatever you want to do. That's okay. right. So that might not be something you should be eating for every meal of the, of the day. Well, but that's entirely okay. up to you. Okay. Okay. Right? <laughs> okay. So the next thing we want to do is add the potatoes. Okay. So what I would normally do is I would take the meat out and let the potatoes cook because mm -hmm. they take a little bit longer than all the rest of the vegetables. Sure. Okay. Okay. And then add the meat back in. And then add the meat back in. Oh, okay. Um, after right. you've done the meat, the potatoes, now we're going to add the vegetables. So we have some diced up zucchini, mm -hmm. which, and then we have some red bell peppers. And then for a little extra color and flavor, we have poblano peppers. Oh, yeah, baby. Right? I love poblano peppers. So really what we're trying to do is get as many vegetables in here as possible. Consider it more of a method than a recipe. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like red bell peppers, for example, you can leave them out, sub in something like yellow squash. Sure. Okay. If you don't like red potatoes, you prefer sweet potatoes or Yukons, any potato is going to be great. So you can take this mixture. Yep. You can, uh, at this point, you can take it off, you can freeze it, or you can do what we've done here, and we just make a little well in the center, once this is cooked, and we drop in an egg. Right. Look at you. Right, so you could do this, let's say you have a breakfast for three, four people, you just make additional wells, Yep. and then you can just serve it on in the pan that as fancy. A right. I like that idea. Very yeah. Spanish in theme. Yep. Obviously, with, with any time you're using turkey or ground beef or anything you want, you want to make sure it's cooked thoroughly. Oh, completely yeah. right. This would not be ready to eat just, right. just yet. Just right. Yet. Yeah. Or you could take this, you can put it in a wrap. It would be really good for lunch oh, as a grab and go. Yeah. Um, you can even use some of this topping as like on a flat, on a flatbread for okay. pizza as well. Yeah. Okay. Are you still doing your underground dinners or your cooking classes? Yeah, what, we what? have the underground dinners uh, every week right now, so it's been a lot of fun. This is actually something you would see in my prepared meal delivery service. Okay. We make this every week, some version of this every week. It's been really popular. You are one busy lady yeah. between the prepared <laughs> meals and people uh, pick those up or get them delivered and, and then uh, yeah. the pop-up dinners, the cooking classes. Man. We try to stay really busy. I would imagine so. Otherwise you get bored, yes. right? Right, right. Yeah. Well, you can find a link to My Private Chef on our website as well as this recipe, myboxdfw.com.